entire corpus provides an ordered list of the most frequently occurring words, as well as further statistical information on how the word is distributed over the entire corpus. Besides the three default columns, frequencies, count, and trend, other column options are available. Hovering over any of the column titles will reveal a down arrow. Clicking on this arrow opens a further menu. Hovering over the word columns in this menu will display the other options, including mean, standard deviation, and z-score. To toggle any of these columns, select the column name. Similarly, to untoggle any of the present columns, select the column name again. The panel also provides the option of toggling a column as sort ascending or sort descending. In this case, it suffices to select the column's name to activate this. The panel's lower toolbar provides many functions. A navigation tool allows the user to move between multiple pages of results. A search field is also provided. Once the user begins typing, the field will suggest other similar words. As well, the user can add results to a favorites list that allows easy future access to a word. To add a word to the favorites list, first select it, then select the favorites list addition icon. This icon is in the form of a heart with a green circle. The panel can be toggled between the regular view and the view of the phrases already added to the list. This is done with the icon in the form of a heart. Words in the entire corpus has three important icons in the upper toolbar. The help icon provides a short description and a link to more documentation. The export icon provides a link to the specific instance of the tool, possibilities for embedding the tool, a citation format, as well as possibilities for exporting the information generated by the tool as tabular data in plain text, comma separated values, tab separated values, or an XML. The options icon provides the ability to set a stop word filter for the tool, to select a comparison corpus, or to set a minimum z-score.